Let's take a look at some of the new designer bags together like the LV Marshmallow bag or the LV Multi Pochette accessories in Ampong leather. I'll share all the details with you guys including price and my thoughts. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know your thoughts as well and let's chat and discuss about these bags. So the first one is the LV Marshmallow bag. The super cute marshmallow bag is from LV by the pool collection. By the pool collection has a lot of fun summer pieces, beautiful colors, and they're perfect for summer. So the marshmallow bag is in the monogram on pond leather with oversized monogram pattern. You can do shoulder carry, hand carry, and elbow carry. It also comes with a adjustable and a removable shoulder strap with chain details to allow comfortable shoulder carry and a crossbody. The bag is definitely enough to carry all your essentials. It's in the cream and the rosebud color. It's currently retail for $2,540. I absolutely think this bag is super cute, adorable, and very, very popular. It's in high demand, but I can tell you that this bag is definitely a trendy bag. The last thing I want is fell out of love with this bag after the summer, then I have to worry about selling this bag. Just me personally. I don't think this bag is worth it, but if you find this bag make your heart sing and make you so 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 happy, you can rock the bag and it's worth buying your happiness for some time, then go for it. Or you can wait for three months and then ask yourself if you're still feeling the same way about this bag and then you can make a decision. Leave me a comment down below to let me know your thoughts about this bag. So the next one is the LV Multi Pochette Accessories in Ampong Leather. If you watched my other video, we talk about the LV Multi Pochette Accessories and I'll link the video down below. You know how I feel about the LV Multi Pochette Accessories. I didn't really like the complicated look, especially with a coin purse in the front of the bag, although it's super popular. Now the Multi Pochette Accessories is available in the Ampong Leather and the good news is that it doesn't have the coin purse. So it's basically a two-piece bag instead of three-piece. So it's similar to the monogram version, the two pouch you can wear together or separately. It also features a shoulder strap that can be adjusted with those snaps on the side it can be warm, crossbody or shoulder carry. If you pay attention to the details, the, the chain strap also looks slightly different because the Ampron leather version has the leather piece interwoven with the chain instead of just a regular chain, which I think definitely look more sophisticated. There are two Ampron leather version available. One is in the bi-color version. The other one is in the monochrome version. They both available in black and cream. The bi-color one is retail for $2,490 and the monochrome version is retail for $2,230. I personally prefer the monochrome version more than the bicolor version. What do you think? I think overall I think this version is more sophisticated, luxurious than the regular monogram version without the coin purse and also with the interwoven the chain details, the bag definitely feels really nice. So my love toward this bag is just a little bit less than the LV Never 4 in the Ampong leather. Will you get one? What do you think of this bag? The next one is the Saint Laurent La Fai A7 Hobo. You probably noticed that the Hobo bag is definitely having their moment right now like Prada's re-edition, Clio, and also Gucci Jackie, all in a very similar style and so many different brands try to come up with their version of hobo bag. So Saint Laurent released this 527 bag. So the 527 hobo looks very simple and clean yet still very beautiful and sophisticated with the YSL logo in the front of the bag. So the bag is available in calfskin and crocodile embossed shiny leather and matte python. So the calfskin is retail for $1,690. The crocodile version is $1,850 and the, the matte python is $1,000. 
$2,490. So the price point is more affordable than Prada's Clio bag. I'm not a hobo person, but if you love the hobo look and you love this trend, you're looking for something clean, simple, beautiful and sophisticated and I think the 527 bag is the right one to go. What do you think of this bag? Do you like this hobo better than any of the other hobo bag in the market like the Gucci Jackie? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. The next one is the Selling Triumph shoulder bag. The Selling Triumph is in the long and a slim shoulder bag shape. It has the Triumph logo in the front. The bag is also named after Arc de Triumph. The bag looks very simple and it gives a lot of vintage vibe. Unless you know the Triumph logo, there's no way that you would know this is a selling bag. So the bag is in calfskin and the inside lining is lambskin. The shoulder strap is adjustable and the bag is currently retail for $2,200. For those of you who are looking for designer bags at this price range and has some vintage vibe and does not scream designer, and this is the bag for you. My only concern with this bag is the bag looks a little bit on the small side and especially with the slim shape. And if you put a lot of stuff, it might be a little bit difficult to get stuff in and out. It'll work out if you don't carry a lot of stuff though. If you have concern about the size of this bag as well, I think it's best to check it out in person to see how much it can fit. If you watch my other videos, you know that I used to have a few selling bags and I used to love selling bags so much. Until this day, I still feel that my favorite selling bag is still the selling classic box. I think the Triumph bag is nice and new, but I feel I just love my selling classic box more. What do you guys think of this bag? So the next one is the Givenchy cutout bag. The Givenchy cutout bag is in such a unique shape and a silhouette and it doesn't have any logo showing. It gives a lot of cool vibe. It has a shoulder strap. The bag is available in many different colors and materials. It comes in two sizes, small and large. The small cutout bag in box leather is retail for $1,790. So the large cutout bag in crocked out is retail for $2,790. Honestly, I'm not crazy about the design and the shape of the bag no matter how popular it is. I can tell you this is a trendy bag and no one wants this bag after the season. I'm just not willing to pay for this bag even a lot of celebrity are carrying this bag right now. What do you guys think? So what do you think of all these new bags? bags that we discussed today. Are you getting any of them or you already have them? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye!